like Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? So we just did our last coat of white on those lines. As those dry, what we're gonna do is swatch out these three colors and try to plan um, on which shade do we want each color. We'll see. Oh, what was what was that, George? Um, I don't know, but I wish I didn't has, see it. Has <laughs> belly button lint. Make sure to check your belly buttons. You got to clean them at least two times a week, thoroughly. I have just what's, hap what's happening that you need to clean it twice a week? Belly button lint will, hmm, I just love animals, uh -huh. so all the fur can get just get caught up in there. It's almost like a porcupine sea urchin situation where they're just popping out, and then I know it's time to clean my belly button. I don't have that problem with my belly button. You have an Audi? No, but... I mean, oh, I have a deep innie. Things don't get in it. No, yeah, yeah. I was really well fed in the womb. You could tell it was a big hole. But it was honestly like a little bit of soap on the finger, and... Conversation got real weird real fast. I gotta clean up my belly button. It might be just like a chubby man thing that we have to worry about because I noticed when I lost a lot of weight, I had no belly button lint. But then I started gaining weight, the belly button lint came back. Lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely. My belly button's clean. Okay, <laughs> good. Well, what about my you, six Chase? pack's coming. See, I th it's not a six pack problem, but the six pack is somewhat forming, right? It's almost like nowhere near that. It's almost like you sewn so, so, the center line. Oh my almost god, sewed? Vanessa. You are cunt, what the fuck? I'm gonna start doing that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift up my boobs when I show up. Yeah, well, wait. Well, I'm cut horizontally, she's cut vertically and horizontally, he's just, he's just, uh, vertically. <laughs> So that means we gotta take one more field trip to Home Depot to grab some white paint, some foam rollers, and more two inch tape. So let's go. We got foam rollers, we got other foam. Mini brushes. Stuff. This incredible bingle. I, I have George's water bottle. And George's water bottle. That's what we're paying for. So far, I have spent $300 on this wall. Wow. Um, see, Marvin said he would pay for $300 it. $300 on this wall so far. The amount of time and love and effort that we've put into this, it's going to end up coming out looking pretty flipping sweet. I'll tell you that. We are just now removing the tape that lies underneath the semi-dried paint. George said it was the most optimal time, is right before it's, it's like perfectly tacky. dry. It's yeah. like, I don't know. That's good. We're gonna get some close-ups no, of, no, no, of the edge work to see how to terrible we did. Yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Oh yeah, see, I see some bleeding for it. Look at that. Yeah. Followers love me because... I can't actually see, oh, what, oh. what is that? I know how to get the shot. Oh. I get the shot for these people. <laughs> to the top, and it caught. Can you believe that? <laughs> this is our beautiful wall. We're super proud of it. It's really pretty, um, but we do still have some steps to take tomorrow or the next day. Uh, obviously, from taking the tape off, there are some bleed marks pretty much everywhere, but it's okay. We're going to take the white and clean those up, fill in a couple of those triangles, clean up the top line and make it super crispy. 
We are at the end of the video. So let's, this is the time where we have to begin to think about what would we learn and what would we do different here at Sticky Paws? Well, obviously it looks badass and there's nothing I would do different in terms of the actual look of the wall, but in terms of the technical aspect of make our job easier, there's a couple things that I, we would do. The masking tape, as you can see, is that it just, it bleeds through when you paint through it. So the one thing to do is to find uh, pretty much clear caulking and you can paint it on top of the masking tape. And what, what that would do is create a seal on both sides of the tape. So whenever you put the actual paint on top of it, when you peel it off, it doesn't seep underneath. So that's the one thing that we do better. So poor Vanessa would not have to do this, but it seems like she's having a great time. Now I am going along all these white lines to make them extra crispy and sharp because uh, we did have some bleed through since this is a textured wall. But I actually enjoy this kind of stuff, so I will sit here and do this for hours and be just fine. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and remember you can follow us at Sticky Paws Studios and of course on Twitter at Sticky Paws Crew or at Sticky Paw Screw. Thank you so much and see you next week.